Hey guys, Dusty Baker here with Cross Timbers Bison. Look what we have. We've got two baby bison now. We got a fresh newborn back there laying down next to Dakota, which is his mama, her mama. We don't know what the gender is yet, but you know, I was waiting and waiting and she was getting really close and nothing happened. And finally, you know, you just wake up one morning and here she is. So um, it was a full moon last night and you know, people have their tales, farmers have their wise tales of, you know, full moon, crazy things happen. And so here we go. We have our finally, we finally have our second baby and uh, it's really exciting. It's a, some weight lifted off of her shoulders now that we don't have to really worry or stress about um, our second mama, which is Dakota and the newborn calf. Um, here's uh, our other little calf right here. A little bull who was born in late June and he's doing great. He's getting used to us. He's getting a little closer to us. And, um, but we're super excited. We have number two finally. And, uh, the, I know other than the bull, he's the big dog on campus. Bell Star. Bell Star. He's the one with the, he's over here. Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Looky there, two babies. There we go, we've got two um, baby, I'm pretty sure I think they're bulls. And um, I'm out here with a, uh, somebody who you never get to see is number one, my wife. That's Marissa, say hi to Marissa. She's the one usually behind the camera and doing all the filming, so you don't get to see her very much, but she's a really pretty one. And then we have a special guest, my buddy Cole. My, Cole is my buddy I used to live with when I taught in Plano. He's the guy who really kind of got me into technology. Um, he, you know, taught me how to use a GoPro and talked me into uh, really kind of getting a drone. He was the first guy I hung out with that, that had a drone and things uh, that, you know, all kinds of sorts of stuff that he did with it. So um, anyways, here we are, we're out here with the bison. Cole's never been out here before and we're showing him around a little bit and uh, we come to check out the, the new babies and um, they're doing really, really good. Can't see them right now. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're milking with mama. Look who we have here, sneaking up behind me. We got the favorite. She wants, some, she wants some cattle cubes, that's what she wants. Okay, so we're hanging out with our new baby bulls. This is about the closest we've been to them. This is, this is pretty good right here. Um, so anyways, uh, what we're gonna do with them, I've, I've been asked that several times. Um, well, because they're bulls, um, we'll keep them for at least probably about two years and we'll see how they grow and we'll see how they develop and then we'll make a decision from there. But. Um, so we kind of have some choices at this point. We'll see and make sure John Dunbar is doing his job and hopefully he's getting some of these heifers bred, hopefully all of them bred. And uh, so that comes into consideration is our main bull, is John gonna do the job? Um, second of all, um, how do these turn out? How do they look or do they have, you know, um, good good genes? Do they, do they look good? And do they have a good confirmation about them? Is it what we want? And then, you know, we'll see how they look. And uh, the, the range for marketing, which, you know, if you want to sell them for market and take them for, for meat processing, um, it, the range is 18 to 24 months. And so that's, you know, almost two years. And then at two years. So um, we've got some choices to make. We're not in a hurry, but we've got them here and um, we're gonna take care of them as best as we can and we'll see what we wanna do. We don't have to make the choice right now, but um, so I hope that answers your question. I, I can't give you an exact answer, but um, obviously if they were heifers, 
we're gonna keep heifers. You guys know that I wanna grow our herd and we wanna expand as much as we can with the land that we have here. And uh, we're able to expand uh, with, with the land that we have here and the grass and, and the facilities. As you know, I'm about to build uh, new facilities. So all that comes into consideration. Um, but unfortunately, there's no heifers, which is okay. But um, you know what? We've got two little good bulls and they come from two really good mamas. Marissa did a great job picking out some good mamas. And so um, we'll, see how they, we'll see how they do. Uh, another question I, I've been getting lately about these calves. So I bought those two heifers. They're actually Marissa's heifers. Um, she picked them out um, at a device and sale here in Sulphur, Oklahoma last November. Um, so I always say mine, they're actually her two. Um, of course she has the two best ones, but um, so these are her calves and uh, she had two baby bulls. But um, so people ask me, are, are these John Dunbar's babies? You know, we talked about names and people were talking about, you know, trying to some, come up with something related to um, Dances with Wolves and John Dunbar. Well, these are not his babies yet. Uh, remember, when we bought them in November, they were already bred. And um, so that, that's something we wanted to do is try to have babies as soon as we could because it takes bison so long to reproduce. And um, so uh, they are bred from, I don't know what bull they're exactly bred from. I'd have to ask um, their previous uh, ranch manager up in the Quapaw, but they, um, they come from another bull. And these heifers came from a ranch with hundreds and hundreds of acres. And um, so I have no idea exactly what bull they came from, but they are not John Dunbar's. Um, so hopefully by this time next year, we'll have some John Dunbar babies and I'll be asking you guys for some opinions on some names. So uh, we still haven't come up with any names yet. I think we may have one picked out on the first one. I liked, uh, we had somebody put, uh, I think it was Chaska, which was um, part of the Sioux tribe. So the Quapaws are a descendant of the Sioux. Um, and when the Quapaws relocated here in northeastern Oklahoma, they got a bunch of land in, in northeastern Oklahoma, and, uh, but they're still a branch of the Sioux. And somebody posted uh, on my comments or commented on one of my videos and uh, said Chaska, firstborn, which is under Sioux. And so I did some research and that's what popped up. And so uh, I love it. It's, it's a native name. They come from a, a Native American tribe, and uh, I love that first name, Chaska. So we may stick with that. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we should kind of ask Marissa if she approves of that. But um, for the second bull, we don't know yet. We don't, we don't have a name for it. So, um, well, we've got to think about it. We've got some time to think about it.
So we have some good stuff happening here. We've got the babies. They're doing really well. They're so red. I'm, this video is not gonna doesn't show up that well, but when these babies are born red, you can kind of see the color now in the sun, but it's funny how they come out that red color. Um, it kind of reminds me of a white-tailed deer in the summertime. They have that same red color, cinnamon uh, color that I usually refer to, a lot of producers refer to as that cinnamon color. And um, it's just pretty neat that they're that color. And you know, these guys are brown as can be. So just nature's way of uh, maybe that camouflage, summertime camouflage. Uh, that they have and then they'll you know over time turn into that dark brown color that we all love looky here we got lots of guests today we've got cole we've got dj sister dj yeah. and we've got my wife marissa and don't forget my favorite niece <laughs> emma lou everybody's come out to see the boss and this is dj and uh, emma's first time to see the baby babies has Daniel seen the babies yet? Not both of them. Not both of them? Um, yeah, so this is the first time uh, some of the family has got to see the babies since we have two now, which is really fun. So here they are. They uh, come up to the corral. Mm -hmm. yeah, when they come up to the corral, it's two things. It's one, I want to be fed, or two, it's watering time. And they come up here uh, quite a bit to get water. So, But this is the fun part. We have get, you know, take the ATV out, which... Uh, couple of videos back I showed you um, how we take the ATV out and kind of a safer way for people to see the bison and get up close to them because they come up to us and they want some them cattle cubes but um, this is this is a fun part uh, we get to have people come out here and most importantly we have family that gets to come out here and see the see the babies which is um, really exciting and a fun time and it's a good excuse to come out and you get to see new babies it's not every day you get to see baby bison calves so that's the fun part of this is is to have the family and, and, and friends and doesn't matter i love showing these animals off because they're just the coolest animals so um it's really fun whenever you got babies so um i better feed them um thank you guys i hope you enjoyed the video um thank you for all the support um videos have been doing well channel's doing great and uh you know what this is our national mammal um, this is so fun to talk about and so fun to to do these videos and it's it's gone a whole direction I never thought it would and that's really all because of uh, the viewers and the followers on this channel and uh, you know it's it's the bison it's it's I'm kind of biased I think it's the coolest animal in North America and uh, if you haven't joined us follow us along on crosstimmersbison.com or sorry cross timbers bison on YouTube and uh, Facebook or Instagram and we'll keep posting some videos of the babies and the herd and um, just join us along and uh, it's fun hanging out with these animals and I hope that you enjoy following us along as uh, we get to raise some babies now which is really really fun so stay tuned guys thank you for everything